Okay, here we go with our Gummy Bear Lab. So the first page that you see on Cami is what you can fill out your information sheet with. So the first thing you're gonna do is make an observation. And then you're gonna develop a hypothesis. And then your measurement, which we'll come back to, and filling out the experimental part on the water, the vinegar, the baking soda, and the salt. Remember, if you don't have all the materials, please just finish watching this video and it'll go through it with you. The video itself is showing you all the areas that we need to fill out. So make sure you have the right sheet and cami. So this is for the gummy bears, okay? And then what we're going to do is start filling out the information as well. So this part is just kind of overview and being ready for it. So I have already done the experiment coming up. Just make sure that we know how to fill in graphs as eighth graders and make sure that we can answer the questions, please, and put text boxes into Cami so that you can answer these completely for me. And I would appreciate it. Then the final page deals with putting a picture in. So if you have done it yourself, feel free to put a picture in. If not, have some fun. Put some random pictures of gummy bears in there. Find them on the internet, figure something out, but have a little fun with it as well. Or if you draw it. So that is the paperwork. And we'll get back to that at the end. Now, one thing you need to understand is I've already measured the weight. And so here's the weight, it was 2.4. I used a scale like this, like we would have in the science classroom. So this is what you would put down for the weight. And following is the experiment you can listen to. So see you at the end. Okay, so we've already done all of our measurements on four different gummy bears. So what we're gonna do now is they're gonna take the big punch. So we're gonna have water, we have vinegar, we have water and baking soda, and we have water and salt. You don't see the water and salt right now, but I will move it over once we take the punch. We are going to dip them in today. And then tomorrow, we're gonna get results and be able to document. So we've already documented our height, our width, and our depth of each gummy bear. So I've already documented it on the um, data table. And the weight is 2.4 grams. So we're gonna use that as weight. So right now, I am just going to submerge them. So we're good. Nobody's complaining yet. And we are going to slide it over. And we have the water. So they all are different colors. So we have yellow for the salt. We have orange for the baking soda. We have green for the vinegar. And we have red for the H2O. So tomorrow we're gonna to come back and we're gonna take a look at them. So 24 hours. So get your calculations, put everything on your data table at this point in time, and then we will correct it tomorrow. Now it's time for the measurements on day one. So the water was two for length, width was one, thickness was one. Remember we're doing this in centimeters. Vinegar, 2.1 centimeters. Width, 1.1 centimeters. Thickness was one. Water and baking soda. Length was two. Width was 1.1. Thickness was 0 0.8 centimeters. And to finish up the water and salt, length was 2.2, width one, and point. Okay, it is day two. We can see what happened to the gummy bears. Luckily, none of them escaped last night, but let's take a look at what everything looks like. The H2O uh, faded out a little bit. Uh, the vinegar, look at the size, look at the shape, kind of compared a little bit to yesterday. The baking soda. And then we will try to zoom in on each one here a little bit, but let's take a look at the salt. So the salt one got a lot smaller. So let me kind of go back and we will zoom in on each one inside of its cup, okay? So right here, the H2O, 
and I will take these out. So this is what it looks like inside. And I will take them out and measure them, but we will try and take a look inside here. And see. And then close up view. It doesn't even really look like a gummy bear right now anymore, right? There's vinegar. There's, it's almost completely clear. Definitely see in the salt, the gummy bear is a lot smaller. So, kind of asking the question what actually happened to create these differences according to the materials that we put them in? Okay, so give me a few minutes. I am going to put the take these out, hopefully, not break them, and then give you the measurements. So, this is day two. Okay, here we are, and here are our gummy bears outside of their little swimming pool. Okay, so this is the size of the bear for H2O. I took those measurements. Vinegar, a little bit of water around it, baking soda, and oh, the little guy, water and salt. So we can kind of get an idea of what happened after 24 hours to our gummy bears. Okay, so now what I want you to do is complete your data charts and look at the numbers that I got for them. Compare them if you did your own, compare. Make sure you use the formulas for the volume, use the formulas for the mass, and find the density and then we will graph it. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, now we have day two data. So on day two, it increased to four for the length, everything's in centimeters, two for the width, and thickness is 1.5 centimeters. For the vinegar, 2.5 centimeters for the length, width is 1.5, thickness is 0 0.5 for the thickness for vinegar. Water and baking soda. So on day two, the length was three, the width was two, and the thickness was 1.4. And the water and salt, 1.8, 0 0.75, and 0 0.7 for the thickness. Now, do all of the math on, from page one. So you can find the volume and the density by following all these directions that you already have. And remember, you can use the scale weight of 2.4. So go back to the first page if you need a little help on the math and then start plotting everything on your graph within Cami. And we will check the answers out on Friday or Sunday. Okay, have fun with this. Bye.